Once plant processes are started, settings and parameters will be fine-tuned to optimize plant performance. A trial period may be required as part of performance verification, where the plant process must operate uninterrupted for a period of time. The trial period will be defined in the contract and could be anything such as three days or one month. After the trial period is successfully completed, a provisional acceptance certificate is issued to the contractor. A provisional acceptance certificate, or PAC, signifies the start of the performance guarantee period. Operational parameters of the system are monitored and verified against contractual requirements. The duration of the performance guarantee period is defined in the contract and could be anything such as one year, three years, or five years. And at the end of the performance guarantee period, the contract may define bonuses or penalties dependent on performance. At the end of the performance guarantee period, the final acceptance certificate is issued to the contractor, and the contractor's responsibilities for the project are complete. This is one of the topics covered in my three-day mini-course on commissioning and startup. To get started with the full course, please go to commissioningandstartup.com where you can sign up for free. My name is Paul Turner, and I want to help you survive and thrive in your commissioning career.